All right, guys. In this uh, video, I'm gonna do uh, install. I'm gonna install the light bar on the golf cart. It's that 32 inch 8D that I got. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Install shouldn't be too hard. For those of you that didn't see my last video, this is the 32 inch. It's an 8D by a company called Autofill. It's a spot and flood combination. Uh, 1080 watt came with uh, these brackets but I end up getting some different brackets off eBay uh, they mount to the roll cage I think these were like 14 15 dollars shipped um, so it'll just be a better fit here's one of the brackets already mounted up to the roll cage it's got multiple uh, locations to uh, mount your light. These brackets also come with this uh, foam liner to fit inside of the ring. So uh, when you do put it on your uh, roll cage, it's not metal to metal. It's got uh, sticky tape on the other side. So you just peel that back and uh, stick it inside of there. So you won't scratch up your uh, roll cage if you under ever decide to take it off. Alright guys, so that's what it looks like installed. Here's the brackets. Now I just gotta tighten everything up, get it positioned the way I want it. And uh, it should be good.
All right, guys, I'm in an open field. Um, I'm gonna test the distance on this uh, LED light bar. I'm gonna turn off my running lights. Just turn on the LED bar. So that's the LED bar. So the spot goes out, I'd say about a good hundred. 100 yards. Yeah, that school's about 100 yards away. Has no problem lighting that up. One more time, I'll show you my running lights. And then an LED bar. All right guys, so that's the install of the 32 inch light bar on my golf cart. Um, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up. If you want to see more, subscribe. Guys, got anything else you guys want to see? Let me know in the comments below. Um, thanks for watching. Talk to you guys later.